Hi, thank you for joining me for this review of this Bompow drone quadcopter. Now it says it's a UFO interactive aircraft and it is basically a quadcopter. Comes in this box. Got the instructions on the back here and comes in three different colors. And if I open it up here, lift up here so when I was asked to review this I couldn't really resist I was very curious to see how it's going to fly without a remote controller and also not using an app it's stuck on here somehow yeah I can get it off okay just need a to remove a couple of screws here do that quickly so it's got this protective cage actually feels very flexible so it should be very durable now the interesting thing with this is that it's got no remote control and not even an app this is simply flown using an infrared sensor and using your hand movements to maneuver it around and over here it's where we plug it in to charge up the battery and this comes with a 3.7 volt 300 mAh inbuilt battery which should be good for a flight time of about five to eight minutes so you can see a sensor over here Another sensor over here, a sensor underneath, and then over here we have a little button, and that's the start button. So now we can see, we've got a green LED light on here. I press it again, it turns to blue, and these are the two speeds. And to turn it off, just press and hold the button in, and it switches off. In the box too, this is the charging cable that plugs in where I showed you and into a USB source. A red light comes on and when it's finished charging, a red light goes off. We also get a star Phillips screwdriver. So let's go and see how this works. Okay, let's see how this flies indoors in this confined space. I turn it on, got a green light, so to launch, all we do is this and spins 360 if you bump it then it stops and to launch it again just do that and the sensors of making it move itself I can't get a hand to it because it's a bit high. Oh yes, it's as simple as that. If you if it's lower, it just launch like this. If it's lower, you can put your hand underneath it to raise the height. Or put it over here like this. <laughs> That's actually quite good. Let's put it in a different speed quickly. Okay, now I've got blue light. Again. Bring it up a bit. So 
So the blue light's a bit faster. Let's see what it looks like in the dark. Oh, very nice. Lift it up a bit higher. And again. It's very impressive in the dark. Put it back into the green speed. And I'm just going to play with it here to see how long the battery lasts. When the battery starts getting lower, it gets a bit slower, and then we get a red light that comes on, and that's low battery. So, nearly nine minutes playtime. Okay, that's also we're picking it up a bit. So, this is really great fun. Will be better in a more open space. I can imagine this being fun in a circle of people trying to keep it inside a circle. So, a great fun little toy. Now I'm going to take a chance and try and fly this outdoors, but there is quite a strong wind, so I'm going to be prepared to chase, chase it and catch it if it starts getting away too fast. So I've got it turned on. Let's launch. Yes, no, the wind's just going to take it, and the wind is quite strong, but best suited for indoors or in very very low wind conditions so please subscribe like comment and share if you like my videos